When Iran was a young city, they were very eager to grow, and they were hungry for more. They needed more land, they needed more money, and they needed something to power them. They needed slaves. In ancient times, agricultural slavery was widely used, but in the Roman Empire, slavery was used more often for domestic services. Most Roman slaves came from the conquered territories as the empire expanded, which helped the Romans to extend and maintain their hegemony in the empire. The common freeing of slaves is really what made Roman slavery unique from other cultures of slavery. Even though at the height of the empire, a quarter of the population was a slave. The slaves could also tend to the baths, work at gladiator arenas, but most commonly, the slaves were forced to work out in fields or in mines. During the 2nd and 3rd century BCE, servile wars broke out from the slaves as slave uprisings organized themselves into wars. A series of gladiator uprisings, most well known for the leading gladiator, Spartacus. Many Roman politicians also used the chaos of the servile wars in order to rise to power, and this aided the decline of the Roman Republic and led to the rise of the Roman Empire. In Rome, it was not uncommon for physical abuse torture, execution, and sexual abuse to take place commonly on slaves. One other feature of Roman slavery is the jobs that slaves could do. Slaves would often be chefs, accountants, doctors, and other highly skilled professions. Wars and the growing economy require more slaves, and in times when the slaves are needed more, they would be hunted down for rewards. Also in Roman era warfare, the victorious side may also take the losing side of the people as slaves, but if a war ends in surrender or diplomacy, no one should customarily be enslaved. Slaves could also be highly educated and learn how to read and write to become a scribe. One other source of slaves is that Romans had the option to sell their own children into slavery. In the mythology of Romulus and Remus, it is said that Romulus said to the men of Rome that they would have the ability and sell their children into slavery if they wanted to, if they were in debt or needed money. One of the defining parts of Roman slavery was that there was a way to get out of it. If a slave could, uh, if a slave had the possibility of making money, which often they did not, they could uh, buy their way out of slavery. Although there was more freedom in Roman slavery than American slavery, or what we would normally think of, there was still no personal ownership of your own body. The torture and sexual abuse that took place ought to be okay. The average age of death of a Roman slave was 17. Roman slaves could also fill the occupations of highly skilled craftsmen. They could fill jobs such as becoming a blacksmith, or traveling with their master. Millions upon millions of slaves taken by Rome lie at the foot of our, our history there for us to continue to see. We must see what we as humans have created. It is difficult to compare Roman and American slavery because they are based on totally different matters. Roman slavery does not have to do with race, as American slavery did. There could have been racism involved, as at slave trades, they would have to state the natio, their place of origin, so perhaps there was bias there. Still, it seems that from what we know of the Romans, from literature, art, and presentation of society, that much of their feelings of people related to whether they were a Roman or not, and also physical features. It seems that they did not have a set notion of race that had developed yet. Rome did not have our modern perspective on race. It mattered more the clothes that you wore, the items that you carried, than the color of your skin. 
Although the Romans did have a social class advancement system, slavery still continued just the same. People would be auctioned off as property with no legal personhood, and it would remain that way, a person living without any freedom until a generation passes. Times of tranquility cease to exist. This will fail to pass realities of mist. While Rome is off distracted by brawls and bread, the base of the nation cannot be fed. A life lacking freedom of any sort, and bodies are found a major import. Flowing the power from emperor to pope, and the smallest felt can have no scope. Ripped from culture, sought as from a vulture, forced in shackles, rising of the people come and go, History here we will never know. This has all been told from the class of hegemony, without the popular vote to have any testimony. We speak of this subject as partisan malice, for humans cannot act as our past has calloused. Everything possible has been stripped from the people in our fire at the tip of the whip. But what of it makes our empathy cripple into sociopathy? How will humanity be pitted upon its own beyond what we know? we could have shown. Must watching suffering be what binds us, when our complexity rides around and it blinds us? Shall realities of smoke escort us to eternal rest, as euphemism becomes our very culture's zest? With the power of imagination, awaiting the birth of a new generation, are we improving? How fast can we be moving? Where our arc bends must not be where it all ends. The problems in society, very few can unfurl until to the books it will all defer. For how could we pale a patriarch? Because the power of the people is in the dark. The reigns dominate like Genghis Khan. But here lies the problem of how we can all But until our time's problems seem to have gone, I must be afraid time will have to wait.